I'm telling you all right now, this deck I'm about to show you guys is literally the most underrated deck in this entire meta, and everybody is sleeping on it. Literally, it's so easy to play as well. Even if you suck at Yu-Gi-Oh, you will very easily be great with this deck. So linear, but so broken. That deck is pure Zodiac, baby. And trust me, do not leave the video. Stay and watch the whole thing, and you're going to see what I mean. So if you guys are new to the channel, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, check out all the links down in the comments, baby. Check out my top comment, and click all the links, baby, and comment down below that I'm a fucking genius. Because I am. Let's go. So obviously it's go second. Now I want you to look at my hand, okay? Obviously you play, the real way to play Zodiac right now, Tanky to one does nothing, I'm telling you. you. I literally played zero Tanky when Tanky was at three. It's just a card for you to get Ash Blossom. Look at his Ash Blossom in his hand. Look at his Ash Blossom. He, my, opponent, my opponent literally has Ash Blossom. If this was a Tanky, if my Zodiac Thoroughblade was a Tanky, I lose. I lose. I lose. Well, not really because I have Mystic Mind because my deck's insane. But I lose. Tanky can get negated by Ash, Cosmic, Imperial Order, Anti-Spell, Savage Dragon, Mighty Master if they have a brain. Like, so many ways. But Azudia cannot be negated. You just put on a 4 material, 5 material, Zeus and call it a day. So, let's just do the, let the duels do the talking. My opponent opens insane. Rescue Cat, Ash Blossom, Fractal Follow, like extra, KRS Revolt, like... I'm gonna let him go off here. He's doing his full. He's even playing Dragoon. Look at this combo. He hard drew the revolt. He has an Ash Blossom. My opponent is going insane here. So what do I do? I'm a genius, bro. I'm a genius. I activate Mystic Mind. What's he do? He's forced to negate this. Otherwise, he hard loses. All right. Cool story, bro. Well, all right. Sure. You, you could uh, go ahead and use your effect. Uh, triple tactics. Steal your Dragoon. It's not Zodiac that you're playing. Yes, Zodiac is an insane engine. But if you play Go Second Zodiac, there's 15 cards in your deck. Like, like, can you imagine if two years ago someone told you, hey, bro, yeah, roughly two years from now, there's going to be a deck that if you just summon any one card from your hand, you get a four material card that sends every card in the field to the graveyard and doesn't target nothing. And you can use it multiple times per turn. Quick effect. Yeah, you can use it three times per turn, bro. People would think you're absolutely insane. And the fact that you could combine it with 20, with 25 go second power spells like Talents and Mine. Look, they're literally going to win me the duel on its own. Like, I'm literally going to use Dragoon here to pop that. I activate Twister to force out the Revolt. I know he has a Revolt. It's going to do nothing. And then I Chalice the Revolt effect with, with this. Negate everything. I didn't even need to use my Zodiac. I normal Zodiac. Zeus kill everything. I actually OTK'd him that turn. So there's nothing you can do. Was that Talents and Mine? Yeah, they're a good card. But the point is, is that you use all these power cards to, to stop him. And then you just summon your zoo and win. In this scenario, I play 15 starters. I drew zero of them. Guess what? I sided out like a big brain monster that I am. I sided out every single go second card I have. Because I knew for a fact that he was going to make me go first post side deck. Now we're playing the trap deck. In what world in Yu-Gi-Oh history has someone made a trap deck go first? I play zero traps in the main deck. I side into 15 because I know for a fact they're making me go first post side deck if they have a brain. So, what are my sets? Duster, Solemn, Imperm, Solemn, Anti-Spell. All I got to do is draw a Zodiac. I have 15 of them in my deck. Very high chance here. I activate Anti-Spell. He twin twists the other two. I just Solemn that into existence. His next play, he's going to go Fractal. He's going to set everything up. Summons Karis. At this point... I'm like, no, that's going to get imperm. He sets two. Duster, what do you know? Guess what I just drew? I mean, I have 15 of them. Summon a Zodiac. Destroy that. Six, five materials. I'm playing around a Nibiru here. So I go into a three material Zeus. You always want to go on an odd number Zeus. Because that way, next turn, I can stack another Zeus on top of the Zeus. That way, you get an extra Zeus effect. Very important. I have a Solomon on anti-spell. Was there any point in, 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 match, in game one that you felt that we didn't auto win? No. Was there any point in this game that you felt like you didn't auto win? No. Both games were absolutely easy wins. Like you just knew you won just by looking at your hand. And the beauty is that every hand looks the same. As long as you draw one of your 15 Zodiacs. There's nothing you can do here. I'm literally just going to attack here. I'm going to slap on another Zeus. Go into that Twin Twister. That's just getting solemn judgmented. He goes into another Nerval Effect. I'm like, go off, bro. Do your thing. Summon. Pop with Blast. If he decides to even have an extra card in hand and summon a Karis. If he had an extra Zeus Effect, GG. 
There's nothing you can do here. There's really not. Now I slap on another Zeus. Droplets. Even if he went... What's he going to do? Droplets. Even... I have anti-spell. But if he droplets kit, set Nerval, add a card, stop Zeus. Sure. Barrage Blast. Pop. <laughs> like, there's nothing you can do. I'm going to show you guys another duel now. We're going to fast forward our way through this so I can show you guys the deck list. But, like, this deck's absolutely insane. I'm telling you right now that if you're not that great at Yu-Gi-Oh! and you're just, like, an average player and you want to pick up a deck and you're new into the game, pick this deck up. This deck is fucking crazy. And there's a lot of budget alternatives. Yes, Droplets is a good card going second in a go second deck. But if you're, like, playing a budget deck, there's a lot of budget alternatives. So here, my opponent, and it seems like he's a little new himself. He could have gone into a Mascarena here, have himself an extra interruption. But, I mean, it literally just doesn't fucking matter whatsoever. I could go Chalice. In fact, I kind of wait, like... I can go Chalice in the seal, then in the drop phase, droplets, get rid negate the Mascarena. So it literally just doesn't matter what board he was putting on, we won. If you're playing a trap deck, I duster. There's really nothing he could do. I'm going to go to Desires here just to get some free plus. Uh, I end up drawing into a, a Talents and another Zodiac. So even if he had a big board of set, like, it doesn't matter what board he had, we were winning. Whatever he summons, I really just don't give a fuck whatsoever. I'm going to go Boar Bolt to banish the Dragon Maid so he can't summon it back with his trap. I clear the entire board. And there's really just nothing you can do. I didn't even set a droplets. He has such little cards in hand. I know for a fact that even he's not killing me. If anything, he might clear my Zeus with 11 year. And then on my turn, if he puts up like any negate, I have all of this to win. So, it, like, I have five cards in hand. I didn't even break a sweat. I literally just activated two cards. Like, it's absolutely insane. There's nothing you can do now. The second he wastes this, I'm going to activate Zeus. There's really nothing he can do. We're going to go to the next game here. There's nothing you can do at all. So at this point, I recognize in game one that maybe he's a little bit new. So what I did was I sided half-half. I wasn't sure if he was going to make me go first or second. I told you at the beginning, signing to all straps going first. But that's only if you face someone who you know is aware of Zodiac. So I sided half-half. And it kind of fucked me up a bit. Because I have a dead Talents and a dead Lightning Storm. But I don't need any of those cards. Because when you're playing pure Zoo, literally you can play with three cards and win. So I'm just going to make Vespinato in set two. This is a big misplay I did, by the way. I want you guys to see this. I have no Zodiac access in my hand. So every time your Vespinato has to be a three material Vespinato. You have to think one turn ahead. So if I, whatever he does, I'm going to stop him. Because I know my traps are insane. So I'm gonna, after I attack into him with Vespinato, I slap a Zeus on top on, his, on, on my following turn. Now it's only a three material Zeus. If I made a Vespinato, a three material Vespinato, I play around Nibiru, which he has Nibiru, and that's why I didn't go into a big one. But if I went into a three material Vespinato, I could have a four material Zeus on my turn. Just something to keep in mind. So here he's going to go into Ravine, sending Ash Blossom. Damn, it's crazy. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video? Tanky fucking sucks. If, if Whiptail was tanky, he was ashing the tanky. I don't even play one tanky in my deck. I can't stress this enough. Tanky literally is ass in pure zoo when every, like, whatever you get with tanky, well, you're going to search Zodiac, right? Whatever you're getting is this is the same thing as Zodiac Catarost. Zodiac Thoroughblade. It's all the same shit. 99% of the time, you don't even use Thoroughblade's effect unless you have three Zodiacs in your hand or two extra Zodiacs in your hand. If you have just one, you save that as a follow-up. So they all they all literally just do the exact same shit. Uh, they make a four material, five material Zeus. That's all they do. Anyways, uh, he goes Absurata here. I'm going to let him go. Uh, I, at this point, I recognize that he summons Rocket Synchron. He attempts to use Nocto. He cannot because it's not a special summon. He does not have access to Boot Sector launch. He's trying to special the Absolute Router. If I strike this, there's only a very few amount of cards he could use to actually have a chance here. So I just strike that instantly. And there's not many extenders he could play except the quick, the continuous spell, which even then doesn't do shit for him. So I'm like, all right, stop. And it actually ends his turn. So at this point is what I'm saying, how I could have had an extra Zeus, but it's fine. One Zeus is really all I need. I probably didn't need to set this Imperm because one Imperm and Zeus will probably be enough, but it's fine. So he goes into uh, Boot Sector here. I probably could have Imperm the Boot Sector, I mean the Striker Dragon. I opted not to. I'm going to let him go off here. He summons this. I save my Imperm for the Chaos Ruler. Now at this point, he goes Chaos Space. And I'm so mad. I should have Imperm with the middle one just in case he fucked up. And he did fuck up with it. That he put it right in the column. But I cannot Imperm this Chaos Space because the Chaos Ruler is already negated. And you can't negate a monster effect that's already negated because it's a Gem Knight Garnet at that point. So I'm going to let him resolve his card. But it just doesn't matter. I'm going to let him go off a bit here. He goes Masquerina. I'm like, okay, that's, that's kind of useless. The second he summons this, before Chaos Space resolves, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to just activate my Zeus now. Let, get rid of all that. I'm going to let him draw no problem whatsoever. And he gets a safer for next turn. That's fine. I draw three dead cards now. Two Lightning Storm and a Talents. 
completely dead. Doesn't matter. You're playing the, the second best deck, Zodiac. So I'm just going to attack with a Zeus, slap on another Zeus on top, and there's nothing he can do. Pure Zoo, second best deck after Pendulum. Let's go. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck list. I absolutely love this deck. Like, look at it. Like I said, we literally don't even play Tenki. We play 12 Zodiacs with three Desires. Because we're playing going second, Talents is kind of like a Desires. Like, literally 99% of the time, you resolve it going second against any de half-decent deck. So you're really playing 18 starters. And Mystic Mind is kind of a starter going second. So you're kind of playing 21 starters. As far as the removal cards, Mystic Mind and Talents are considered monster negates in my eyes. Because once he, he wait, uses one monster effect, Talents will get rid of another monster effect if I need it. Desires will be auto negate. Mystic Mind stops all the monster effects if it resolves. Lightning Storm can be a monster, like get rid of monster interruptions or spell trap interruptions. Uh, I would like to play evenly, but your battle phase is just way too important because of Zeus. So the only other card you can play is Twin Twister. Red Reboot's a solid card. Maybe you can play one Red Reboot. I think I should play one Red Reboot, but I like playing three ofs. And I understand you have to discard a card with Twin Twister, but most of the time in the decks that you use Twin Twister for, it just doesn't matter. Like the discard literally doesn't matter. It, it, like no deck this meta has actual negates. So if you have Twin Twister, a Tribe Brigade player with Revolt and Imperm, you just win. Revolt stops you. It's important to stop back row cards. But I do think one red reboot is better because obviously you just Zeus the traps anyways. So you should probably play one red reboot over one twin twister. But it looks cool. My deck looks fucking sick as fuck. Look at it. It's like aesthetically pleasing as hell. So I opted to play that. As far as monster negates go, I have triple challenge, triple infirm, triple droplets, and triple dark ruler. These 12 stop everything. Obviously droplets and dark ruler stop everything by itself. But it's also important to have generic interruptions that you can use going first or going second. For example, after I clear his board, I want to have at least one Imperm, Droplets, ch Chalice, even Twin Twister. One of these 12, I want to be somewhat useful for, go for after I have a Zeus to have it there. This is the side deck, what I was mentioning. Literally every single one of these cards are insane uh, against every single deck. There's not a single deck that Strike is bad on or Barrage Blast, Ice Prison. Literally every single one of these decks are good against everything. So going first, when you know your opponent is going to side deck for you going second, like you brain fuck them and you just put these 15 in. These, This is the extra deck. You don't even need an Ausa. If you really want, I mean, you could play one Ausa over like a Chakanine if you really want to. But I mean, not many people are playing contact anymore. And even if they did, you have so many ways to stop it yourself with your all these cards. And you could just crash. He's not going to kill you. So it's not like the end of the world. You could play one Alsa if you want. It might be even correct. Remove one Chakanine for the Alsa. But you need to play Triple Borbo. The whole combo is just Zeus Turbo. Zeus Turbo is legitimately one of the best Texas meta. And I'll fight anyone that disagrees. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And try this list out for yourselves. Very good list. And if you want to play a budget. I mean, obviously Lightning Storm Droplets and Talents are expensive. They're also very good. Zeus is getting reprinted. It's like a $20 card probably in the after Megatons. So that, that's fine. It's pretty budget. I think Talents is getting reprinted. I guess you could remove Lightning Storm and Droplets for one red reboot and maybe some other cards. You could play a Sky Striker engine if you want to because your Zodiac could very easily go in the extra monster zone. So all their effects would resolve. Borbol would resolve. Zeus resolve. All that. So you could play Engage. You could play one Hornet. You could play Triple Widow Anchor over the Droplets if you can't afford it. And then you could play one or two uh, Ego Booster to protect your extra deck monsters. But play one Red Reboot. You can even play an Afterburner if you want. But anyways, that's the video. Hope you enjoy it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!